And of this fact, as I record it here, an image, a type, goes on before our eyes, present each moment. For behold, whenever the sun's light and the rays, let in, pour down across dark halls of houses, thou wilt see the many mites in many a manner mixed amid a void in the very light of the rays, and battling on as in eternal strife, and in battalions contending without halt, in meetings, partings, harried up and down. From this thou mayest conjecture of what sort the ceaseless tossing of primordial seeds amid the mightier void, at least so far as small affair can for a vaster serve, and by example put thee on the spore of knowledge. For this reason, too, tis fit thou turn thy mind the more unto these bodies, which here are witnessed tumbling in the light. Namely, because such tumblings are a sign that motions also of the primal stuff, secret and viewless, lurk beneath, behind. For thou wilt mark here many a speck, impelled by viewless blows, to change its little course, and beaten backwards to return again, hither and thither, in all directions round. Lo, all their shifting movement is of old, from the primeval atoms. For the same primordial seeds of things first move of self, and then those bodies built of union small, and nearest, as it were, unto the powers of the primeval atoms, are stirred up by impulse of those atoms' unseen blows, and these thereafter goad the next in size. Thus motion ascends from the primevals on, and stage by stage emerges to our sense, until those objects also move which we can mark in sunbeams, though it not appears what blows do urge them.